America. Welcome to the Trace and Negay Show. I'm Trace. And I'm Negay. And as usual, we have a hype, type, 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 type show. And we really do have a hype show because we got a special edition hip hop show going on. Face to face with Trace and Negay. We're keeping it real, trying to erase the problems that lie between women and men. The chaos and madness, it all needs to end. As the old saying goes, never kiss and tell. What do they know? They can all go to bring your problems, bring your pain, leave your guilt and shame. Working it out, that's the name of the game. So if you got a situation, you can lay it on the line. Caller, caller, what's on your mind? Remember one thing before we end this rhyme. Trace saying the gate, too dangerous for daytime. Today we're talking about younger people. Our topic for today is do, do kids have, have a right, right to have sex? Was that the topic? Of course that's the topic. That's what they want to know about, how important is sex in a relationship. Why does it always have to be sex with her? But anyway, today you're going to love our show because we're talking about when, when the, the sex, sex just ain't no good, should, should you call it quits? quits? Absolutely. Absolutely not. That's your opinion. That is shallow. It's time to get down, get dirty. Bottom line, The people. debate is on. You Here know, every woman has her dream idea of yes. that knight in shining armor coming, and he's coming on a stallion. He ain't coming on a broke down pinto. Thank you. That's in the fairy tale. <laughs> we want to take it to the streets and see what you viewers thought out there before we come back and debate this issue. Ho OPP, hands on or, or hands, hands off. off. My name is Ray. I'm from Columbus, Ohio, and I say hands off to other people's men. Because why, Mom? It don't belong to you. I'm Janie. I'm from Singapore. OPP, I say hands off. No trespassing. Okay, this is JJ Johnson from KCE. Boyfriends and girlfriends, that ain't a commitment. So, uh, yeah, you can go after that if that's what you want to do. Now, I wouldn't mess around with a friend of mine's girlfriend. If I don't know the guy, hey, <laughs> next. It's time to get down, get dirty, bottom line. Caller, caller, what's on your mind? Ryan, I know you got an answer. Ryan, what's on your mind? <laughs> Sisters, I hear of this argument every single day. I'm a good brother. I'm right here in Los Angeles. Where uh, are you, Ryan? I'm at home watching you ladies. <laughs> well, that's a good place to be. I like that answer. <laughs> we got another caller on the line that we should take real quick, and I just wanted you guys to know that we do this so you'll feel better, we feel better, we, we all, all feel, feel better. better together. Caller, caller, what's on your mind? Trey, do you really believe that 95% of all males cheat? Emphatically, yes. <laughs> From a few weeks ago, we had a caller that called in uh, Karen Bryan of Inglewood, and her question was, how much should I reveal about my past relationship? Less history, more mystery. I agree with that. Karen, I'd also say, you know, your past is your own business, and regarding um, anything else other than, like, health issues and sex safety, you don't need to tell him any of your business. Um, I would just basically give you this advice. He's the best lover you ever had, period. Why do women send so many mixed messages and what the hell do they really want? Maybe Trace and the Gates could shed some light on this mystery. I say, first of all, two thumbs up for the question. I say more like a middle finger. Last one real quick. Settle the debate once and for all. It's from some guy mostly endowed from Santa Monica. Is it truly the size of the ship that matters or indeed the flow of the ocean? Oh, well, we may there not. There is no flow to the ocean <laughs> if the ship ain't up. Oh, yeah. okay. the ship got to be Titanic. Thank you. Titanic, baby. Hey, and welcome back to Men. What are they thinking, part two? I could sleep with a lot of girls, but when I meet the girl that I say I'm going to marry, you know, she better have only slept with a few people. If he wants sex because he spent money on you, that's calling you a prostitute. If I entered into a relationship with you and that's the way you felt, I would have to respect that. Do all of you feel this way? Look, my Dang mama it. taught me that kissing don't last, good cooking do. You're watching the Trace and the Gay Show here in Hollywood, California. It's getting hot, hot, hot. We got single people, married people, people who are confused. They're all here in Hollywood, but they're giving you what you want. The answers to your questions. What's up, America? You're here with us here live on Trace's rooftop, sitting out by the pool, reading your letters, because we're on the hot seat. And that, of course, is when you send your letters and emails and any kind of correspondence, and we have to answer your questions frankly. Or whether, non-frankly, whether we want to or not. <laughs> but we are here. We do this, viewers, so you feel better. We, we feel, feel better. better. We, we all, all feel, feel better together in our relationships. relationships. So why don't I start with question number one. Darlene from West Hollywood wants to know, why do men fall asleep immediately after having sex? 
You would know because you have a lot more sex than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and answer that I'm going to get you back for that one. <laughs> Darlene, I would simply say that your man is probably falling asleep because he's done his job right or because he's insensitive. Either way, a man out there should always know that he needs to stay awake for the customary 15 minutes of cuddling time. If not, the woman is going to be very upset. So, Darlene, tell your man 15 minutes minimally, and then your relationship will probably be a lot stronger. I'd have to agree with the 15 minutes. However, did you know that it was a biological function that men fall asleep because they, they, they exert so much energy. If something was shooting out your body, I mean, you'd that be exerting a, a, lot, a lot of energy as well. So, I mean, that, that, that goes with it. Well, hope that answers your question, Darlene. Okay, my question. Uh, okay, Sean from L.A. asks, why do men feel women owe them sex just because they spend money on her? Trace, you'd be good at answering that one. I don't. I think that men, sh they probably feel that way, but they damn well shouldn't. Just because you're spending money on a person doesn't mean that person owes you anything. And women out there, if men try to kept make you, you know, back into that trap, tell them them, absolutely not. You're not doing it until you're ready. Don't just go out here, you know, using your body like the gays goes to other oh, men. Oh, please. You, you, you're trying to get me back. I would have to I'm agree kidding. with that, but at the same time, I'd have to say that's a woman's fault. She should make sure the man's not expecting sex. Right. She shouldn't expect him to spend money on her either. Well, that's she true She shouldn't now. expect him to spend money on her it's, either, so it goes what? both We're ways. We're going to do a show about this because I don't see why a man has to feel that he needs to have sex with a woman because he spends a hundred bucks. I, she only worth a hundred bucks? Because that's his hard-earned money. I'm not so what? I am not condoning the fact that men, women owe, and nobody owes anybody anything, that's first of all. That's the main all. point. Anything you spend on me or if I give you sex, that's because I want to give it to you. Not because we owe. Or because but, you but, need it from him. But, but that's but another you issue expect, out of gas. But she expects money from men, so it's I know that's expect hypocritical. money from men in that sense. If they want to take me to dinner, if they want to take me to San Francisco for the day for lunch, that's on them. But that I'm not going to just say, oh, and for that, here, have my body. That's a whole other issue altogether. On that note, what's your next question? And for the viewers out there, OPT, hands on or hands off, that's completely up to you. But as my daddy always says, it's better to hit one bullseye than to bring home a whole bunch of bull. We'll see you next week on The, the Trace Indigate Show. Yeah.